For more Thank analysis you. on the Supreme Court's EPA ruling is Robert Percival. He is the director of the Environmental Law Program at the University of Maryland, Francis King Carey School of Law. Uh, Robert, thank you very much for being with us. So we heard from Jan there. The White House called the Supreme Court's EPA ruling, quote, devastating. Can you explain more about what this decision means in the fight to curb climate change? Well, it's, it's really an outrageous ruling because what the court has done has said that EPA cannot use the most effective means of shifting away from reliance on fossil fuels to renewable energy. Uh, in a landmark decision in 2007, the court ruled that the Clean Air Act can be used to regulate greenhouse gas emissions. And four years later, they said you can't sue emitters of greenhouse gases in federal courts because it's all up to EPA. They're the experts. Now the court is saying you can't do anything big unless you go back to Congress and get new legislation. So on that point, then, what could potentially be the avenues here for the Biden administration and for Congress regarding this decision? Well, if Congress wasn't mired in partisan gridlock, we could get new climate change legislation from them. It's more likely that EPA will have to do a lot of little things to try to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases and use financial incentives to encourage more of a shift to renewable energy. So what is the practical effect here? Because we know that air pollution caused by fossil fuel burning accounts for millions of deaths worldwide each year. How could yesterday's decision further impact um, people's health in the future? Well, the Clean Air Act has been the most successful environmental statute in saving millions of lives and resulting in our having much better air quality than the rest of the world. And this is a real major blow to it that, you know, hopefully in the future, uh, it'd be possible to respond to the decision with new legislation. When the court said that the FDA couldn't regulate tobacco, Congress immediately responded and essentially said, you're wrong, it can, and adopted new legislation to do that. It would be great if that happened here, if there was a legislative response. I can't say I'm very hopeful of that, though, in our current political climate. Well, the bottom line here, I mean, could the high court's decision set a precedent for other EPA regulations to be dismissed? Well, it's, it's, it was designed to create a precedent for all agencies by announcing this new major questions doctrine. They're effectively saying agencies can't do big things. Look, we didn't let the CDC require a vaccine mandate for workers and uh, it could apply to the Securities and Exchange Commission trying to require companies to disclose the economic risks of climate change. Uh, this is being viewed on the right as the beginning of a new effort to rein in agencies and prevent them from carrying out their statutory mandates to protect the public. Right, because I guess the idea here is that what constitutes a major question is very much subject to interpretation. We're going to watch to see how this continues to unfold. Robert Percival, Robert, thanks very much for your insight. We appreciate it. Thank you.